What if I told you the Big Bang Theory that explains the origin of everything might not be the full story yet? Because James Webb Space Telescope has recently uncovered mind-blowing discoveries that challenge what we thought we knew about the birth of our universe. These findings have led scientists to question the very foundation of the Big Bang Theory. In this video, we will dive deep into the Big Bang, the evidence supporting it, and how the discoveries from JWST are turning our understanding of the early universe upside down. Stay tuned, because the universe as we know it might not be the full picture. The Big Bang Theory is currently the most accepted model that explains the origin and evolution of the universe, backed by extensive scientific evidence. It all begins with an extremely hot and dense point called the singularity, where all matter and energy in the universe were compressed. At this stage, space and time as we know them didn't exist. Then something incredible happened, a rapid expansion of space, marking the beginning of time and the birth of our universe. In the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang, the universe expanded at a rate faster than the speed of light. This wasn't just any expansion. It took the universe from the subatomic scale to nearly the size of fruit, all in an instant. It's hard to imagine, right? But that's what the theory and the mathematics suggest, an explosive event that created space almost instantaneously. As the universe expanded, it also cooled down. About three minutes after the Big Bang, it cooled enough for protons and neutrons to combine, forming the first atomic nuclei. This process gave rise to the lightest elements, hydrogen, helium, and a little bit of lithium. From this point onward, the universe continued to expand and cool until around 380,000 years later, when it became cool enough for electrons to combine with these nuclei, forming fully neutral atoms. In the early universe, temperatures were so high that space was essentially a dense plasma filled with charged particles like protons and electrons. Light, or photons, couldn't travel far without being scattered by these particles, making the universe opaque. But as electrons began to combine with protons, forming neutral atoms, the number of free electrons dropped. This allowed light to finally travel freely, and the universe became transparent. This moment is crucial because it's when light from the early universe could finally escape, allowing us to observe it billions of years later. Fast forward 200 to 400 million years, and the first stars began to form, composed mainly of hydrogen and helium. At the cores of these stars, nuclear fusion produced heavier elements like carbon and oxygen and so forth. When these early stars eventually ran out of fuel, they exploded in spectacular supernovae, scattering these newly formed elements into space. This paved the way for the formation of later generations of stars and planets. Within a billion years of the Big Bang, the first galaxies had formed, large collections of stars, gas, and dust held together by gravity. These early galaxies eventually merged, growing into larger structures like galaxy clusters. Around 4.5 billion years after the Big Bang, our solar system began to take shape, and the rest, as they say, is history. Before the Big Bang theory, many believed the universe was static and unchanging. Even Einstein initially held this view, introducing a mathematical constant to prevent his model of the universe from collapsing due to gravity. However, things began to change when Alexander Friedman and Georges Lemaitre independently developed models of an expanding universe, suggesting that the universe had started from a primeval atom. This concept evolved into what we now call the Big Bang Theory. But we need to prove that theory right. Yes, in the 1930s, American astronomer Edwin Hubble made a groundbreaking discovery. The distant galaxies that he were observing were moving away from us. And the farther away they were, the faster they were receding. This was direct observational evidence that the universe was expanding, providing a critical support for the Lemaitre's model. The game truly changed in 1965 when physicists Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson discovered the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang. This faint radiation is a snapshot of the universe when it was just 380,000 years old, offering powerful evidence for the Big Bang. Just like feeling the warmth from a campfire long after it's gone, the CMB is the lingering heat from the early universe. Fast forward to today, and we're facing new questions thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope recent discoveries. 
JDWST has detected massive galaxies that appear to have formed much earlier than the Big Bang model predicted, within just 500 to 700 million years after the event. These galaxies seem to be much more evolved and larger than what the original model suggested, raising questions about the rate at which galaxies form and evolve. The discoveries from JWST have also reignited debates about the universe's expansion rate and whether we have an understanding of it is complete or not. JWST opened our eyes to more of the truths left to discover, and we have just beginning to adjust and make improvement about our current cosmological model. There are so much we yet to learn the current invisible mechanisms, yet like the dark matter and the dark energy, as we don't have a clue as to why after the great sudden expansion period. The dark energy is still pushing the universe expansion rate steadily. Well, I will let you know if there's an update. Well, if you have learned something from this video, do smash that bell icon and subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss any new updates on space. This is Try New Space.